Hi, and I am Eleanor, and I'm going to be doing a baking show for you today. The recipe I'm going to be showing you to do is sponge with chocolate icing. Once you've beaten all of your butter so it's really soft, you have to add your caster sugar. So you add it all, and then you beat it into the butter so that they're warm. my two eggs, same weight as my butter and my flour. Now to start making our sponge, you have to add all of your butter, normally I use stock, put it into your mixing bowl and start to beat it until it's soft. Once you've beaten all of the butter and the sugar together, you need to add all of the flour I like to use self-raising flour, but if you want, you can use normal flat flour and baking powder. And then, without mixing anything whatsoever, add your two eggs. And then the next one. Yum, yum, yum. Now that we've mixed all of our ingredients together, before we put all of the mixture in the oven, we have to put them in a tin. Here are some tins I greased earlier. When you're putting the mixture in the tin, you have to make sure that it's equal. See what you do? One dollar. mummy to wash up. Now you can see that we have our baked cakes here. I'll just hold them up for you to see. And they are really hot at the moment. So if you're a child again, when you get them back to the oven, get an adult to help you. 
and to check that it truly is done, get a knife or maybe a needle or something like that, just poke it in the cake. Has it got any cake on the end? And if it hasn't, do you mean, I mean, raw cake mixture on the end? And if it hasn't, then it's baked, and if it has, then you've got to put it in for a couple more minutes. Now, we're going to make our chocolate buttercream to go in the centre. With chocolate buttercream, what you do is maybe use some anchor butter, any butter as long as it's not salted, and then you maybe cut a quarter of it off and you cut that into small squares, and then just beat it up until it's really, really soft, just like that. See? Once you've done that, we're going to add ice and sugar. So it's basically like making a normal buttercream and then adding, adding chocolate powder. At the beginning of this cake, I said that I was going to make a chocolate, chocolate buttercream. So here I've just got some normal drinking chocolate Cadbury powder. Now that we mix all of our ingredients together, before we put the 